Hey guys, it's Monday. Time for another Ask Me Anything. It's fun to hear you rant about gay versus straight, but where do bi people factor into that equation? I apologize to my bisexual fans if you feel a little underrepresented in my content, but let me explain it to you this way. Number one, I'm not bisexual, so I don't want to speak on behalf of bisexual people or give critique about your viewpoint because that's not my viewpoint. I'm just full on gay. I'm just a big ol' homo. Sexuality is very complex and it's a spectrum. I get that, especially in Berlin, like everyone's kind of bisexual. And number three, I'm gonna be a little brutally honest with you. There's this tiny, ugly little part of me that resents you bisexuals. Specifically bisexual men. I guess I'm just jealous of you. I'm like, oh, look at you. You get to fuck whoever you want. You just fuck everyone. Ooh. Except for when a bisexual man wants to fuck me, then I'm like, oh, you are so brave and courageous. And I love that you really know yourself. You are so evolved. Get over here. How did you start doing your shoulder wiggle? I don't know. It's just like a part of me. It's just like, it's like a thing I do. I don't know. It feels good. When did you first come to Berlin and what was your first impression? The first time I came to Berlin was in a three month period when I first uh, came to Europe and I was touring all throughout the continent. This was a long time ago. This was like eight and a half years ago. And I remember getting off at Schoenefeld Airport and uh, taking the bus into the city and trying to ask the driver a question and him just being really mean and really German and not speaking English. And I was just like, oh my God, you're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. What were you talking about with the bad guy from Unorthodox yesterday at the canal? Okay, paparazzi, leave me alone, okay? My bromance with Jeff Vilbush is now private, okay? And I swear to God, it's like the bromance of the century. Do you have or use sex swings? No, I have never used a sex swing, though I have had my share of times in a sling, let me tell you. <laughs> Jesus. Who's better at complaining, Croatians or Germans? Croatians, of course, we fucking love to complain. We literally complain all day long about everything. Even at the seaside when things are beautiful, we're just like, ah, there is only one rainbow today, ah. When are you coming to visit Algeria? Well, I didn't know that I had fans in Algeria. I would love to go. I find Algerian men to be very sexy. And you know all those sort of French, like Northern African countries that are all like sexy in Arabic and French? Like you know they have lots of gay sex, but it's always secret. It's always behind some sort of street market or in little corners or late at night at shisha bars. Let's just say the shisha isn't the only thing getting sucked. <laughs> what are some significant differences between real Daniel and It's Berlin Daniel? Okay, so I know that I have a lot of new fans, so I'm gonna try to break this down for you. Anytime you see one of my videos and it says It's Berlin, that is a part of a longer series of videos that have existed for about a year and a half, and I am playing a character named Daniel. The whole psychology of Daniil is that he's sort of this stunted adult. He's like in his mid-30s, but he's basically living his life as if he's like this 19-year-old party boy. And all he cares about is doing drugs and being cool and hanging out with his friends and being a scene-ster. And he totally has like, like a borderline personality. Like he's very selfish. He doesn't really care about anyone else. He can't handle real feelings or vulnerabilities. Like when one of his friends dies of an overdose, he thinks it's funny. But it is really fun to play a character that's that sort of detached from reality and that sort of self-indulgent. Um, so it is sort of like me, but just under that context. I'm terrible. What is your favorite place in Berlin? Not necessarily a bar or a club, but a neighborhood or an area. My favorite area in Berlin is Weserstrasse in Neukölln. I love that street. I loved like bar hopping all along that little area and hanging out in the parks along there. I, I think it like has a really nice vibe and really cool people live in that area and I always get recognized. 
Why does Daniil mispronounce Berlin? Why doesn't he pronounce the R? Why does he say Balan? Because that's how you say it. Only tourists pronounce the R. It's Balan. What music do you listen to? My favorite kind of music is Yugoslavian pop from the 80s. That's just who I am. Are you receiving Dutch hate mail? Yes, I have received some Dutch hate mail. And I love it. I love every moment of it. I just love upsetting Dutch people because they think they're so perfect and they're so proud of themselves. And I'm like, you're not that perfect. It feeds my soul.